We're out here today as part of the uh, Clean Pacific Conference, which is a conference for uh, uh, the province of BC, but also any American states that border the Pacific Ocean. So it happens once a year, and, and this year we're hosting it here in Vancouver. And so we have on display about 12 vessels from uh, both our uh, Vancouver Harbour fleets and from our Vancouver Island fleets out here today. Uh, there's a number of different types of vessels that uh, we, we are uh, we're using as part of this exercise. We saw earlier the large coats response vessels designed for that heavy weather, but we also have uh, systems here for, uh, for sh more sheltered water, so skimming systems that use booms and uh, vessels that will collect that oil. Uh, and then uh, we also have uh, work boats that are part of this. And then we do have also uh, larger mobile skimming systems, which are vessels that are designed to be able to skim in heavier waters that we would see out, uh, out in the Straits and in the, uh, in the Salish Sea. Part of the uh, uh, commitments to the National Energy Board for the uh, Trans Mountain Pipeline was a significant reduction in response times, both in Vancouver Harbour and out in the southern shipping lanes. So we're looking at going from a maximum six hours down to a maximum two hours in the harbour. And out in the southern shipping lanes, we're going from maximum 72 hours in some places down to maximum six hours. So with that commitment, we're going to need to do a lot to build up our capacity in that southern shipping lane. And what we're going to be doing is adding about six new bases, about 120 new staff, personnel, response personnel, and 40 new vessels as part of that. So that's a key thing to bring down that response time in those areas, but also we're doubling the capacity. So right now we're looking at being able to clean up 10,000 ton spill in 10 days. Now we're looking at 20,000 spill in um, uh, 20,000 ton spill in 10 days. So that's all part of the, uh, the trans mount enhancement. So if there is a decision by the government today to move ahead with that, we'll be moving ahead with those bases and vessels. We see a number of different types of products on the coast, uh, from your heavier heavier products, like your, uh, your crudes, your diluted bitumens, your uh, bunker seas, which are used as fuel on the deep sea vessels, all the way down to the lighter products, so your marine diesels. So our skimming systems um, can do either, either, either or uh, product. We can do the heavier products with our brush skimmers, but if it's a light spill, if it's a marine diesel spill, we can shift those cassettes out and we put in uh, what's called a disc skimmer for the lighter product. So different skimming systems for different kinds of products.